Hey everybody, welcome back to 365 Days of Megazix, and today we are looking at a fistful of entrails. Uh, this game was made by Maxim and uh, released in 2009, and it is basically a, an arcade style top down shooter. And when I say arcade style, I mean like seriously old arcade style. Really, I am pretty much in love with this uh, with this type of aesthetic. Um, this is really the type of game that you would see, uh, like in arcade cabinets of old, like in 1980s style. Um, that is not to say that it is without fault, but it is still pretty cool. Um, so this game, the uh, graphics, I've already kind of talk talked about that. Um, music is pretty nice, um, not much going for it though, and sounds are kind of obnoxious, but not any more than a 1980s arcade style top-down shooter. Um, so this game really doesn't have a story or anything, you just shoot the dudes, eventually run out of dudes, and you go to an area you get more dudes. Um, one weird thing that I've found about this game is um, how the control scheme is set up. Now, as far as controlling this, um, it's kind of similar to, let's say, The Binding of Isaac, uh, where you have, the, uh, in this case, you have the arrow keys, uh, that move around and you have the letter keys uh, to shoot, but the default keys um, for shooting are E, S, D, and F, which is just kind of weird. Uh, you can switch it to WAS, and you can't switch it to I, J, K, L as well, um, if you're into that type of thing. Um, Another thing about this game is the AI. The AI is is very direct. Um, it will uh, pretty much seek toward the player and not actually try to, you know, deviate from that in order to try to get around obstacles. So you get a lot of cases where uh, you have enemies that just kind of stay stuck on the wall and don't actually try to progress uh, toward you uh, in any way, shape, or form. Um, I don't know how many levels this thing has. I only got to level 3 before um, uh, dying a second time here and uh, calling that a video. But um, it is really fun, I find. Um, another slight bug is that the highest score will actually not update until you've gotten past the game over screen. Um, I guess I can talk a little about the weapon upgrades. There are weapon upgrades that will drop at random. Um, I'm not 100% sure which upgrade does what. We have upgrades that um, basically increase Firing speed, increase uh, range, increase damage. There's another one that I don't really know exactly what it does, but um, and you also have a uh, an array of different enemies that will attack in different ways. What a thought, right? But uh, yeah, this is a, fi a fistful of entrails. If um, I mean, if you have a couple of minutes to kill. This is pretty much a great game for that. I recommend it.